I think this is a good time to talk about the plus and minus signs of all the trig functions. If we have a point in quadrant one and we make an angle out of that point, meaning that point will be on the terminal side of our angle, just as we saw in the previous examples, we had a terminal point in quadrant two. Well, that means we're going over cosine. If you think about the unit circle, cosine is the X. Cosine is positive and sine is positive. And by our quotient identities, tangent is sine over cosine. So if I divide those, I'm still going to have positive. So sine of the angle will be positive and cosine of the angle will be positive. And if I divided positive by positive, that means tangent of the angle is positive. So what's positive in quadrant one? Well, cosecant is positive, secant is positive, and cotangent are positive as well because the reciprocal functions follow their mated or paired functions. So all are positive in quadrant one. All trig functions in quadrant one. If I have a point here in quadrant two and I have an angle between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, or if we want to go radians, which I prefer, that's between pi over two and pi. That would be a terminal point on the terminal side of our angle in quadrant two. Well, X is cosine, so cosine will be negative because we're going to the left. Here's our zero, zero point. And we're going up for sine. So sine is positive. Sine is the Y on a unit circle. And so if I have positive divided by negative, that means tangent is also negative. So which trig functions are positive in quadrant two? Just the sine. And of course, it's reciprocal function cosecant. But I'll just say sine and let you know, or, or let you figure out, well, it's reciprocal function will also have the same sign there. If we're talking about quadrant three, if I'm going over from here's our origin, I'm going left and down, that's negative x, so that means cosine is negative. And if I'm going down, that means the sine is negative as well. And tangent is sine over cosine. Negative divided by negative means tangent will be positive here. So the only trig function positive in quadrant three is tangent. And quadrant three is between 180 degrees and 270 degrees, which we know as three pi over two. This was zero degrees over here, which is the same as 360, and 360 we know is two pi. By the way, zero degrees is zero radians as well. In quadrant three, I'm going positive for x, which is our cosine on a unit circle. So cosine of the angle is positive, but I've got to go down for y. So sine is the y on a unit circle, and sine is uh, positive, but cosine, I'm sorry, cosine is positive, and if I'm going down for sine, Sine is negative, sorry about that. So if sine is negative and cosine is positive, when I divide sine over cosine, my, my quotient identity tells me tangent is sine over cosine. And so if I've got negative divided by positive, tangent is also negative. So what is the only trig function positive here? That would be cosine. And of course, it follows that secant is positive as well. So why is this easy for me to remember? Well, every morning when I'm shaving, or at least when I used to, I would just look in the mirror and say, you're going to do a great job today, Tim Curran. You are an all-star. You are all-star Tim Curran. So super easy for me. And of course, you're in pre-calculus honors, and that's the pipeline to calculus AB or whatever calculus course you would like to take eventually. So we could say all students take calculus. It's easier for me to remember the first, but maybe you would like another acronym and you are absolutely free to think of one on your own.